There are many marketing channels that are worth considering today, including Facebook ads, Google ads, influencer campaigns, public relations, and of course, many, many others. Now, it's really important to note that the effectiveness of these marketing channels can vary wildly from business to business. So just because a marketing channel is highly effective for one business doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be highly effective for the next business. And another thing that is really important to understand is that that typically what many businesses end up finding out is that there is one marketing channel that greatly outperforms all of the other potential channels they could pursue. So if you identify the best possible marketing channel for your product, that gives you a massive advantage because early on you're able to attract more customers to your business. Those customers help you fund further marketing efforts and potentially expand your team and invest in other products. And it can put you on a completely different trajectory in the future because you selected or started with the best possible marketing channel, as opposed to, of course, starting with a weaker channel, not realizing that you're on a weaker channel and everything across the board is just that much smaller. Fewer sales, fewer dollars coming in the bank, less profits and less ability to reinvest in the product or the business as a whole. Now, when it comes to identifying the best possible marketing channel, the best method that I've found is the bullseye framework as presented in Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. It's a step-by-step -step approach that can help you identify the best marketing channel with a reasonable degree of confidence. Step number one is to simply identify a bunch of promising marketing opportunities. And you wanna go beyond traditional marketing channels that are popular in your business category or simply channels that you're already comfortable with. You wanna have a complete list of potential channels to really stretch your creativity and consider things that you might not normally consider. And a great list to start with is the 19 proven marketing channels that are covered in Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. Step number two is to brainstorm promising marketing opportunities for each one of those channels. So you take an individual channel, something like Facebook advertising and come up with a legitimate strategy for how you could use that single channel to grow your business. And this is really important because for some of the more obscure channels, you might not really consider the channel until you take the time to actually brainstorm what you would do if that were the only marketing channel that you could rely on. So you wanna take each of the potential opportunities and really try your best to come up with a compelling strategy. The next step is to select three to five of the most promising opportunities opportunities. So as you go through and brainstorm different ideas for different marketing channels, you want to eventually narrow that down to three to five of the most promising opportunities that on the surface seem to have the best potential for your business. The next step is to conduct inexpensive tests to find out how each of the promising opportunities perform relative to each other. So for example, if you were going to consider Facebook advertising, you would spend a limited amount of money to get a rough sense of how that channel performs for your business relative to the other opportunities. So we're not focused here on over-optimization or anything like that. We're just trying to get a rough sense of what we can expect from each channel and then we're judging them based on how they perform relative to each other. And the final step is to select the single best performing channel and to focus all of your time and energy on optimizing for that channel to maximize its potential. Eventually, you will reach the point of diminishing returns. That's the point at which spending additional time and effort on that channel fails to create better results. And at that point, you will know it's time to go into maintenance mode on that channel where you continue to leverage it to attract new customers to your product or service. But that's the point at which you wanna focus your creative energy on returning to the bullseye framework and identifying the next most promising marketing channel that you can add to your overall marketing efforts. Mm -hmm.